My father was born in 1916. He told that when he was a young man during the Depression that he didn't have very much money to try to survive when he, he quit school on eighth grade and started being a hired hand, trying to build up a little income. He said winter was a real hard time. He said uh, more than a few times he made money by picking up cow chips. Cow chips for the local farmers and different ones, especially the poor, would pay you what little money they could for cow chips. And so that was one of the ways my young father back in the Depression made money was selling cow chips for firewood or the fire capability. He told that uh, he was uh, still living with an uncle at the time. And he said his uncle had five dollars. And he said, that's got to get me through the winter for fuel. Five dollars. So what he did, he went down by Palisade, Nebraska. The guy owned some river bottom and he had a big cottonwood tree like that one, dead. And so he sold that cottonwood tree as it stands to my father and the uncle. Well, they and another relative came in, three of them, with axe and with saws, big two-man saws. They cut that tree down. And they cut it into pieces small enough so they get it in wagons. He said it took ten wagon loads to carry off that big cottonwood tree that they bought that day. They said it took over a week of cutting to get it done. But that was fuel for the entire winter for them. That was their fuel supply. And if you think, okay, nice story. It ain't over. They even dug out the stump so they could use that for firewood. We have no idea today what real work is and what few dollars that you have to make do that they did back then. And maybe with the government taking over 50% of our money today, and they're bragging in a few years are going to take 65% through this health care, that down the road they may want 100%. And so maybe you'll be, maybe you'll be picking up cow chips and maybe you'll be cutting a tree down and buying a tree for your firewood to heat your family, and you'll even dig the stump up. I hope not, but that's how it was done, and quite often, though, history does repeat itself.